All right, so as you know, we're waiting for our idler pulley. Should be here, I don't know, a couple days. Just like I said in the last video, I uh, might hold off a little longer on posting this one just to make sure everything's nice and tidy for you guys. But I did see your comments on the previous videos. Yes, I'm gonna take this off the motor for sure. Probably gonna use some zip ties and get it up there somewhere. But more importantly, your suggestions with the spark plug wires. I appreciate that. Apparently these right here bends. And they do. I am an absolute idiot and did not know that. Thank you to those of you who just told me. Um, I'm actually going to pause the video and I'm going to give you guys a shout out real quick. Alright, we're back. So Red Devil, ENT, and Juan Trucking. Thank you very much. You guys just saved me at least, what were these, like $81 plus tax or $78 if you buy them through my Amazon store. Link below. I can't believe I didn't know this. They bend so easily. It's ridiculous. Thank you once again. I, for some reason, did not know that, but I really appreciate you guys telling me that. So, yeah, I mean, I'll just, I'll do this this side off camera. It's just, I think only one's hitting. Yeah, just one. But yeah, what I'm gonna do for now is, since we don't have our idler pulley yet, Start cleaning it up a little bit. I just need to finish this hose clamps. One down here, and the ones down there. And I'm obviously gonna hold off on these until the belt's completely on. But I'm gonna do small stuff, like throw on the headlights. You know, get it cleaned up, get it ready. Uh, Cause I really, when the idler pulley comes in, I just wanna throw it on and go from there. And there's this one guy that gets really annoyed when I talk about the RCF. So let's talk about the RCF guys. It's going to go over to my buddy JME's house today for three weeks. He's going to develop a new carbon fiber body kit. I'll see if I like it or not, but it's besides the point, that'll be a different video. If you guys want to watch it, since I know my truck people may or may not like the car, as well as my Lexus people may or may not watch my truck videos, which is fine. So here is, I believe this is the passenger side headlight. We'll find out. Yeah, it is. It for sure is. It has a little lettering in there. So I'll go ahead and plug it up real quick and then I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Got one corner light in and great news. Nothing is in the way. This is exactly what I had planned. There's the elbow. Well, this side's a little different because we had to clear this. So as you know, I had to do a little extension there. It doesn't even get close to the headlight at all. It's kind of sweet. That's what I wanted. That's why my intercooler sits a little lower. Four inch intercooler, by the way, so literally your entire hand can comfortably fit on there. And I should totally get the headlight bracket on on this side. But first, let's put the actual headlight on. Well, there we are. The passenger side headlights are on. So, time to get the headlight bracket on on this side so we can get cracking. And there it is. We got the headlight bracket in. Ready to get our headlights on. I know you can see all the dirt from when it was in Texas. Whatever. Still clean-ish. <laughs> well, I just got home from work, guys, and look at my present. I already opened it up to spare you guys. And here's our pulley. Brand new. And our hardware. So. Alright, guys, it's running. So, as you can see, I washed the truck. It was pretty dirty. So, we're going to go ahead and, I guess, wrap up this video. Because I've been waiting for a tune for maybe a week and a half or so. Maybe two weeks. Um, literally, like, maybe, like, two or three days after I uploaded the part two. So, I uploaded that video. And then, like, three days later, the idler probably came in. The truck was pretty much ready to go. So, yeah, let's, let's right, check so it out. As you can see, the front grill is all nice and put on along with the headlight brackets and everything. Everything fit really, really nicely. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop the hood for you guys right now so you can see how everything came together. I need to put that little plastic engine piece on for sure. 
and clean it up a little bit. So, got quite a few things to show you guys. So first we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood. There we go. So my clamp came in for the throttle body. Uh, the ones that came in with the piping kit didn't fit. The are <laughs> two different sizes on Amazon. Those did not fit either. But yeah, everything's nice and on there. As you can see, got a little tiny Spectre air filter on there. So story behind that is, you know, I was gonna run an open screen back here where the impeller is. I was just gonna use a blower guard which is like a turbo guard kind of. They're like, what, $60, $70 online. And I don't know, I was doing some research and apparently some cars make more power with this, you know, this thing fully open. Some make more power with a filter. The filter that came with the kit when I bought it used, it was like a really long, like almost from here to here filter. Uh, it's like a foot long, but I can't find the elbow it came with that goes like that. Cause the thing's huge. It's like a like a four inch entrance for the filter, but it's like three inch for the impeller. Sorry, 3.75 to like a 4.5 or something. So I couldn't find that. So I made this little thing work. All right guys, so some things we did to the truck. Uh, I know a lot of you guys commented on the, I guess, battery wiring. So, I mean, I, that was something I wanted to change anyways. So this is the red wire, the power wire. I got this, what's it called? Wire loom, is that what it's called? Put it all the way around and it's on top of the engine cover right now. I, Got those zip ties that have a little drilled thing so I can put them up there. They're white, so I'll wait till I can get some black ones. So I definitely need to do that. And uh, what else did I want to show you guys that I did? Oh, that's right. I ran new vacuum line all the way to the blow off valve. As you can see, it's rooted like this. It comes down there somewhere. And yeah. Everything's nice and tight, just waiting on a tune. It's like annoying because I don't know when it's gonna happen. Um, something very important. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. In the other video, as you would have noticed, well actually it was this video. The uh, belt was way too loose. And I had to replace it. So I have like a Master Pro belt on there now. Not too happy about that. I want to get a Gates RPM. It's just for blowers. They're like 80, 90 bucks. And yeah, I just want to make sure everything's good and my tuner runs it. I want to get his input on if the belt's too big or too small. So we'll get it tuned and then I'm going to go ahead and switch that. Then I don't know if I'm going to keep that filter or not. I might just run a screen. Even though I just like told you guys I made it work. But yeah, let's turn it on so you guys can see how it is from a cold start, I guess. Let's see if it goes on. Just got the keys really quick and then uh, I did some like idle videos the other day I just don't want to leave it on right now too much in case it does lean out I don't want that to happen but I do have the uh, you know air to fuel gauge for that so listen up because it sounds actually really good you got like quickly lean but i do have some other videos i took of the idle and i'm gonna go ahead and attach those for you guys as well as uh what a, a landscape a portrait video i took of me revving you can kind of hear the blow off valve so i'll upload that as well for you guys and i think that's gonna be it we're just gonna go to a rally really quick once parker gets here to return the other belt that i bought and i'm gonna decide with him right now if i want to keep that filter or not i don't know man it was like 30 bucks and I really don't want to spend like 30 bucks right now, but whatever. Uh, I guess just enjoy the idle videos. All right guys, so to complete this video, uh, we're gonna finish off with why is it taking so long to tune, right? The truck's been done for two weeks now. The blower install kind of just took me an afternoon to get the intercooler done. And then another afternoon to like finish off the piping and get the blower mounted. Then I had to wait for the idler pulley as you know. So the install time didn't take very long. But, you know, now I'm waiting on a tune. Um, I want to get tuned by one of the two top tuners here in California. You know, I'm not going to say any names, but one of them's 
actually closing up shops, so he's very busy. And the other one is kind of hard to get a hold of, so that's the hold up. I've been exploring other tuners that kind of like get me by, I guess. You know, it's not exactly easy. So right now it's looking like the guy that closed the shop, he told me to hit him up in a week. Problem is I'm going on a business trip on Sunday and I won't come back till the next Saturday. So that means it's gonna be at least two weeks till this truck's running. So expect the truck to be running September, hopefully. I don't want it to take any longer than that. But it's kind of a shame because the truck's done, everything's bolted up, it's ready to go, which just needs a tune. Apparently it's kind of hard to get nowadays, or at least a quality one. So what's going to happen in the meantime, right? Uh, you know, it's like, alright dude, obviously there's going to be no truck videos. Well, lucky for you, I'm trying to restructure how my videos are done. I'm actually working on some clothing right now, I found a supplier. I got one design done, I want to get something else done. So I'm going to be working on my website for it. So what I'm going to do then is... Once my website's done, hopefully it'll be done by the time this truck's getting dynoed. When the truck's getting dynoed, I'm gonna do a post on my Instagram. If you haven't followed my Instagram, just the link's below, go ahead and follow it. I'm gonna post it on the dyno, and I'm gonna give you guys one day uh, to guess the horsepower, right? Whoever gets the horsepower right, or the closest, is gonna get a free shirt, free decal, shipped to your house as long as you're in the US. Uh, I might do two or three of the closest ones. If there's some tie, like, I don't care if there's five or 10 of you guys that tie, I'll give you guys all a shirt, I don't care. But yeah, so so much is coming along. Videos in the meantime. Uh, tomorrow, my friend ZL1 is gonna be racing a Huracan Performante and a Porsche 911 Turbo S. So we're gonna get that on video. And it's gonna be random stuff like F, you know, well, stuff on the F car. I don't have the IS, RCF right now. It's getting the splitters done. I'll get it back probably in two, three weeks. So both cars have been down for the same time. My truck and the RCF out of commission for like two months. Super inconvenient, but whatever, that's life. I really do miss going fast, so I can't wait. But on the F, it's gonna be a dyno video. Probably, I'm gonna shift sector in October. It's gonna be racing videos. And then, yeah, you know, there's a truck, I love it. It's ready to go. Just wanted to update you guys, you know, cause a lot of you guys are like, go ahead and finish it. Well, it's been finished for two weeks, but just wanted you to understand that we need a tune. So, Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys soon.